Good morning, Saturday, May 22nd, 2021. You don't need to know the time. It's the weekend. Let's chill out a little bit. But let's peruse the crypto markets because they're still open 24 7, 365 as a global financial rail system <laughs> for the globe should be, right? Open 24 7. Right, here we go. Litecoin, what's it doing? Currently at. 175 19 was 200 day 172 96 that's really good to see right Just tagging it piercing it piercing it four days now is it four days four days yeah including today and i don't know why we look at the 200 day average uh it should be the 365 right 200 day moving average is a throwback to the stonk market where 200 day kind of represents a year's worth of trading Part timers, <laughs> bank holidays, weekends, you know, etc. So let's uh, let's have a put a three six five on. Why not three six five? Okay, and let's change the fifty to what a what does fifty days represent in the stock market? A quarter, three months, right? Essentially. Yeah, so let's do that at 90. Let's make stuff crypto specific, eh? Um, hmm. Mm-hmm. So bear cross, golden cross, bear cross, uh, golden cross. On this two averages, right? And we tag this 2019 top. And here, okay, that's this is gonna be interesting. So, in twenty eighteen, we tagged this top, right? This was a double bubble, a double bubble in one year, right? And it tagged, tagged, kind of tagged, and then fell away. See that pennant? That formed the top. That formed the top. Um. So. What happens next? Is this that I kind of posted an idea that I'm thinking it is? So, but we are below the 90. We are sandwiched in between the 90 and the 365. We're down here somewhere because this was way more violent. The exuberance was. Larger? I don't know. It wasn't in Litecoin, was it? Um, okay, so I believe this was the last halving. The last halving, we had a great run. I said we, but you know, Litecoiners, uh, people holding Litecoiners, Litecoin, investing in Litecoin, 22 to 140 ish. That's a 7x. That's a 7x. That's the pre halving pump. Our next halving is 2023 over here. How long does, did this take to play out? Six months. So, 2020 around here, there should be another pump. But from where? From what level? It could be from up here, right? That would make sense. Somewhere around here, four or five hundred bucks, and then launches again. So, does it play around? Do we have the double bubble in the overall crypto market and Bitcoin market and get up to the 2k mark? Come that down to 500 and then launch again. Uh, well, that's a play, that's a potential play, right? Um, let me just uh take off my jumper. The sun's come out, I'm getting hot. There we go. And this is we got coffee to boot. So let's have a look at Litecoin. Uh, boom, boom, boom. Throw on a bar chart. Let's dig deep. Uh, high, low, high, low. 
high, low. Um, next high. He hasn't made a next high yet, right? Or is this the next high? Uh, uh, yeah, it is. Okay. Higher low than this. Um, we've still got a lower low, lower high, I mean, than this high, right? Tomorrow, you don't want to see it take out this low or this low. Obviously, that would kind of mean the end. <laughs> and it's kind of forming a pennant. So we need some good action this weekend. We need some good action this weekend. Um, so what is this high? Oh, yeah. Today it's already uh, come off from 184. 184. Where's 184? Here. It's been weak. And you could potentially say this is another bear pennant, right? Uh, that's the potential. Everything's potential. Got to remember also, though, cryptos can't go bankrupt. <laughs> cryptos can't go bankrupt, right? So they aren't going to go to zero. And Litecoin's been around for what, a decade now? I think it's 2011. But say it's been around for 11, it, you kind of have to look back at its history when it got listed on Coinbase. Because pre Coinbase, it was just uh, people were mining it, but it wasn't freely available to trade, right? Coinbase was the real birth moment, okay? So that was what, about four years ago. About four years ago. Um, yeah, it was about this time, spring 2017. Um, and it's gone from strength for, for strength to strength in that four years, right? Uh, GBTC, it's got its own Litecoin fund, Bitwise. Uh, I can see this as being a net, next crypto asset at some point in the next coming years uh, to have a CME, right? You've got Bitcoin, you got Ethereum just launched uh, a month or two ago. Uh, I can see Litecoin being uh, a CME product. you got gold, silver, palladium, copper, uh, all those metals, right? Why not have a uh, digital silver, uh, right? Am I right or am I right? Okay, let's. Uh, what should we look at on Litecoin? Shall we throw on a couple of indicators? Yeah, okay. Let's go back to the daily and throw on a Bollinger Band. Bollinger. Mm -mm. Let's get rid of this. And let's throw on a stoke. So we already know we have to get above this high today. We need a good good performance on Saturday and then follow through on Sunday. And Monday, can we get above these levels? Back in the 200s. Uh, back in the 200s. Uh, so more. Okay, what have I got? Oh, yeah. Let's take off a... 90. It's interesting though. This yearly average. This yearly average. It's actually this angle. Mm, when did it start curving up? November. About six months, right? August 2017. When did it start rolling over? Year and year and four months, sixteen months. Again, we're six months. Hmm. Hmm. Mm hmm. Okay. Let's get rid of moving average. Three six five. <clears throat> Slow stoke. Embedded, I believe. Uh, embedded, I believe. Uh, mm, uh, okay. Oversold one day. 
No, popped back out. 20 on the K line, 20.24. Can you see that? Uh, and now another day oversold, two days oversold. Today and tomorrow is poor. Then you have a locked in downtrend. We got saved here. This bounce saved us from being embedded, right? Okay. And 18 day average or the 20 day average is way up here at 300. At some point, they will interact. Not at some point, this will come down here and price will meet it. At some point, when has it not met the middle Bollinger Band? It always comes back, right? Like a ping pong or like a reset. At some point, it will reset. It will meet up here somewhere. All down here, or up here, and then you can see what will happen, right? Can it get above, like, can it get above and start going back into a bull phase, or will it die a death? You know, will it die a death? Uh, just start riding it down, anyway. Look at this 146. Down to seven, fifty percent haircut. Fifty percent haircut from now uh, will take us down to eighty. <sighs> Potential February nineteen, twenty twenty. I mean, if things get really ugly, that's why this twenty nineteen top is crucial. It holds. Um, hmm. We shall be watching, right? We shall be watching. Okay, let's look at Bitcoin, 3,700. Uh, Stokes are curving down. Let's get a cleaner chart. I say cleaner chart. Here we go. Let's remove this. <laughs> Bitcoin, remove that. No, no, I'll keep it up there. It's still the apex global property, right? Is that what Michael Saylor is? It? Uh trying to sell it as now is he's, he's, he's right he is right i mean what other global asset property that is available to anyone right um and how you use it is up to you if you give it to somebody else that's fine but you can store your own wealth in your brain on a paper wallet on a hardware wallet locked away in a vault you know is look what Vinka was uh, did when they got their keys when they bought their Bitcoin in what 2012? They split up the keys into six uh, pieces of paper, then went to six regional banks, one to <laughs> went to three banks, you know, went on planes and trains, and uh, they picked the banks with uh, with care, due care and diligence, and the other two went to three other regional banks, right. They sharded their keys and then uh, in six ways and then proceeded to deposit them tucked away safely. And I, I don't know if they ever touched it. I know they didn't touch it for years and years and years. They may be using it now because they own Gemini, right? If they don't use their own custodial service, then that's a kind of poor indication of uh, why we even bother creating a company, right? Um, you got to show that your product is uh, trustworthy and viable. If you don't use your own product, then uh, it kind of beggars the question of why should anyone else, right? So this is interesting. Stochastic could go either way here on the, on Bitcoin. It can start rocketing higher if we start getting to higher prices, obviously, uh, or it could roll over. It could roll over, but it's not embedded. Again, like Litecoin, it's not embedded. Uh, was it embedded over here? Um, one day, two days, three days, yes, embedded here. Four, four, four days. Four days. That's the fourth day. And we pop back out. So, are we done? Went from oversold to embedding for four days. Will it double dip? That's the question. Will it double dip? 
Bollinger Band still pointing down. Let's look at momentum structure. Mm. Yeah, this weekend's action is going to be crucial. It's going to be crucial. Um, hmm. Let's see. 42, 300. Four, okay, this is a high needs to take out. 42, 300. Boom, 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 boom. Right. Okay, key level identified, and it makes sense. Here we go. All right, this never turned into sport. These lows never got broken. Congestion zone. We're back into a congestion zone. So I'm assuming rest of this month, another week or so, it's gonna. We we'll, we shall see. It's going to, I think, remain under 46. If we can close the month around here, right? Somewhere around here, maybe one more pop, drop, and start moving up. Something like that. That's what I kind of anticipate now. Pop, drop. Where does it, how low does this low go? That's the question, right? Um, yeah. I think I should just do those two, Bitcoin, Litecoin, Litecoin and Bitcoin. Okay, gold and silver. All right, guys.